Welcome to Melon Kitchen. I am Carissa and I'm super excited to share with you guys today one of my favorite blueberry recipes, blueberry scones. Let's get right in. The ingredients that we're going to be using are very simple. We're going to start by using some all-purpose flour and just two cups of that. We're going to be using a cup of milk. It could be buttermilk. It could be half and half. It could be heavy whipping cream. I have some whole milk that we're going to be using and you could also use buttermilk even. And then I have a cup and a half of fresh blueberries, which are gonna be so tasty in our scones, and the butter. I use unsalted, you can always add salt, but unsalted is the best way to go for this type of a recipe. And I froze it in the freezer and grated it. It's gonna make the scones very light and fluffy and very delicious. If you didn't freeze it, it's okay. As long as your butter is cold, you can cut it up in little pieces and add it to your dry ingredients. With a pantry cutter works great. I, or pastry cutter, excuse me. Um, I didn't have one of those, so I'm just using a fork. And I've got my baking powder here, just three teaspoons. And I ran out of table salt, so I have my Himalayan pink salt that I'm substituting in the recipe. It's gonna add just a little bit extra flavor there. Just one egg is all that we need for this recipe. It's going to help get everything binded together. And I've got regular sugar there and also decorative sugar that goes on top and it just makes the, the scones look very pretty and it's totally optional but I like to make them look a little bit fancier for this recipe. So I'm going to add the unsalted butter that's grated to the flour. And it mixes in really well with a fork. If you had a pastry cutter, that does super well, but I don't. So for today, I'm using a fork and it just mixes in so smoothly. It's gonna start to beat up like little beads, um, little round pebbles in there. And just gonna mix it all together thoroughly. I'm going to add in the sugar and the salt and the baking powder to our mixture and get those mixed in well. So I've got the egg added into the milk and I'm gonna mix that, whisk it all together and once that's done, I'll go ahead and pour it into the dry ingredients and you want it just whisked completely. So I'm going to pour in the milk and egg mixture to the dry ingredients and give those a good mix. Get it all together. So we are ready now to add in our blueberries. And this is just a cup and a half. I really like my scones to have quite a few berries in them. And these are fresh and they're delicious. And we're just gonna get those mixed into our dough mixture as well. If your mixture is really sticky, you can go ahead and add in some more flour, which is what I'm doing in just little bits at a time. I didn't let my berries dry, 
from rinsing them and so it added extra moisture into the batter. So I got some flour in there, put some on my hands, trying to help it not stick to my hands as much. This is a sticky dough, um, but this was extra sticky. And then I'm gonna put it on the surface that's floured. And really, if you have a cutting board, it works good because we are going to also be cutting these into um, slices, but I'm just doing it on the table and you don't really have to knead it. It doesn't it doesn't have like yeast breads or any it's not like that. So I'm just kind of mixing up a little bit more flour in there. And then you want to form it into the shape of a circle. And you could use um, biscuit cutters if you wanted. I like the triangular shape and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Yes, it's very sticky. Um, I'm going to cut it now into equal slices. And I am going to add a little bit of flour onto my knife, trying to help it not stick because it is pretty sticky. So I'm just cutting these into equal pieces. I am going to use a pie slice utensil and get under the scones and put them onto a lined cookie sheet for baking. And this just helps them stay in their shape and it just helps them to be transferred easily onto the cookie sheet. If you'd like to, you can sprinkle on a little bit of milk to the top of the scones, and this will help the decorative sugar stick onto the scone, and or you can brush it onto the top of the scone, but this just allows that decorative sugar to stick, and the decorative sugar is just larger um, crystals, and it just helps them look really pretty. So the scones are going to go into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. When the scones are finished baking, they'll be lightly brown on top. And depending on how large of a scone they are, they could take just only 15 minutes if you use a small biscuit cutter. So I would say 15 to 25 minutes for baking on these. And I have them set there on the cooling rack to cool off. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll try making these scones as well. Scones are so fun because you can add in so many different types of ingredients to mix it up. If you like the full recipe, I have that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already for more fun, re delicious recipes in the future. Here at Melon Kitchen, we have our comfort food with a side of healthy. And I can't wait till our next video. See you next time.